That was pretty interesting. What do you find? Um, there's a lead that goes uh, pretty much straight west for 50 feet. Uh, there's one that goes kind of northwest for like 25 feet or so. There's one that goes north and kind of up uh, into a kind of crumbly area. Uh, there's one that kind of goes uh, back behind you to the northeast uh, walking. There's one that goes east here uh, that's like maybe three by ten. And then there's one that goes like uh, kind of southeast that's pretty, pretty good sized walking. And then there's one that goes like uh, more or less like south uh, kind of crawling. Do, do, do you think? Do you think we broke through? Yeah, there's some. Uh, there's some good options. <laughs> After surveying more than 1,500 feet of walking passages in November that appeared to extend beyond the western edge of Wind Cave, we returned in December to get a better idea of whether or not this discovery represents a true breakout. The joint controlled passages in Wind Cave reach obvious fault boundaries that limit the cave's development. However, it's well understood from blowing holes on the surface and well logs that there is a significant amount of cave passage beyond these perceived boundaries. Potential areas of cave development simply lack access from an entrance or from within the known cave. The history of cave exploration in the Black Hills teaches that methodical pushing of these fault boundaries may lead to a breach, and if such a route is found, then there may be an explosion of new discoveries. The geology of the southern Black Hills and barometric airflow measurements suggest that maybe as little as 10% of the cave has yet been discovered. The recent milestone of 150 surveyed miles may just be the beginning of a journey towards understanding a 1,500 mile long cave system. After previously finding and photographing a large mammal skeleton, the Cave Resources Office, in cooperation with Dr. Jim Mead, Director of Research at the Hot Springs Mammoth Site, decided to collect the skeleton for identification and dating. Carbon dating is still underway, but the skeleton is not a ferret as first suspected, but rather a pine marten. Pine martens are not found in the Black Hills today, and they favor wetter and colder climates. What are you going to do? Yeah. The trip to get to these leads took three hours, but the trip out of the cave took more than five due to many crawls and climbs and dealing with a large box for carrying the pine marten. The trip lasted a total of 21 hours and we exited the cave at 5 a.m. A total of 2,285 feet was surveyed in exactly 100 stations. This is the highest survey total in more than 28 years and there are walking leads left going in every direction to return to in January.